Hello fellow stackers, 365 here, welcome back to my channel. So I wasn't actually planning to film a video today, I've filmed a couple of videos over the last couple of days announcing the giveaway winners and once again massive congratulations to those of you that have won these gorgeous pieces. This one actually went to Serpent Silver, absolutely stunning coin, really really full of detail absolutely stunning it's actually really hard to actually pick this up on camera because there's so much detail going on but congratulations on that win that will be going to you very very soon and again the slack collector congratulations on winning this very very cool lego piece real nice keepsake piece to celebrate the channel hitting 8,000 subscribers but the reason i'm doing a quick video today is to announce the bitcoin etf now, the SEC approved the Bitcoin ETF. I believe it was approved late last night. So I've only just heard about it. And the news is going crazy. The crypto markets are going crazy. There's a lot of altcoins flying up. There's Ethereum's flying up. And obviously, Bitcoin's flying up as well. Now, Bitcoin leads the way in the crypto market, as many of you know, those of you that have looked into the crypto markets. But when Bitcoin does well, it triggers all the other assets around it. All the other, I say assets, they can't all be considered as assets, but all the, the altcoins, should I say, it triggers them all to also rise as well because it leads the way so all of the other crypto coins seem to follow it so it's really really exciting times to be alive it's a, a really really big turning point for the crypto market and i think the reason why it's so important for the crypto space is because there's a lot of people that are very skeptical about crypto there's a lot of old school investors that are adamant they only want to invest in stocks or physical metals and that steers them away from even looking into crypto because they don't understand it they don't know how to invest in it and they really just don't want to go anywhere near it because they're very very worried about the, the safety of it but now it's actually been approved for an etf you'll get a lot of people that are always adamant that they're only going to invest in the stock market you'll get those types of people looking into it more you'll get the people that always invest in stocks or physical assets such as gold or silver, you'll start to see them doing more research into it now that it's actually been approved, now that you could almost class it as a real asset, now that it's on the stock market. Before you could argue that it's a speculative play, it's not a real asset, it's not a real investment vehicle. But I think now that it's been approved on the actual stock market, it's going to make a lot of people change their mind and really start doing the research into it. And we've already seen that. Like I said, the markets are going crazy. Everything is responding really, really well to the news. And it's just a really exciting time. Now, we've actually got the halving of Bitcoin rewards in April 2024. So April this year, it might happen slightly earlier. It might happen slightly later. But at the moment, it's on track to be around about April this year. So we've only got a couple more months away before Bitcoin rewards half as well. So I think coupled with the announcement of the Bitcoin ETF, we could really, really see great things in the crypto market this year. I've actually got a prop that I keep meaning to put out. And I'm going to put this out because... I think 2024 is going to be a huge year for crypto. Now, don't get me wrong, I'll always be a huge fan of physical assets. I'm always a massive advocate of actually holding your assets, being actually able to physically hold an asset in your hand. And that is why I'm so for gold and silver. I think it's a way of being your own bank. It's a way of actually physically holding something in your possession. And don't forget, any moment crypto could be banned you're not going to see assets like silver and gold be banned i know it happened many many moons ago but it's not realistic to even expect that happening again but something like crypto it is quite realistic to expect that could be a potential in the future now once cbdc start rolling out across all of the countries in the world and most countries have already started either trialing it or rolling it out already I do think that crypto could be in for a bit of a shock. Why would the government have something that is basically a direct competitor to their coin? They're going to be releasing CBDCs, a, a form of digital currency, a digital coin, if you like. So why would they allow the likes of Bitcoin, Ethereum and, and all the other different digital coins that are already out there? I just think it's a very, very dodgy thing when you're actually going against the government as their direct competition. So I am still hesitant. I'm not adding anything into my crypto holdings currently. I do have crypto holdings I've been holding for a number of years. 
and I will be looking to cash out when I hit my price targets. So I've got a number of different coins. I've got Ethereum. I've got some of the smaller altcoins. I haven't actually got Bitcoin, and that is because I always like to support the underdog. As you can see with my channel, I like to support silver over gold mainly, and that is because I like to support the underdog. Whenever there's a boxing match on or a UFC fight on, I don't often put bets on, but if I do put a bet on because it's a big, big fight, I'll always invest my bet in to the underdog even if i do think they're going to lose because that's where you're going to get a bigger return i think it makes it more exciting and that is why i invest in silver because it's the underdog of gold and i do think it has more potential and that is why i invest in Ethereum over bitcoin because again it's the underdog and again i think it has more potential so that's not obviously financial advice make your own decisions do your own research but it's a really, really interesting time to be alive. And I do think that 2024 could be a very, very good year for my crypto portfolio. And like I said, I will be looking to take profits, if not cash all of my crypto out by the end of this year, depending on how the, the bull run pans out. Normally by sort of September, October, September time, that's when you start hitting the all time highs. That's the kind of historic way the market cycles have worked every four years. So, again, it could be different this year. Not many people have money. The inflation rates are still high. The interest rates are still high. So people don't have as much spare capital knocking around like they did a few years ago. So it will be interesting to see how it pans out. I would be very interested to hear your thoughts in the comment section. Was you on the fence before about crypto? Are you considering getting involved now? You can actually purchase a crypto ETF. And the way that the ETF works, for those of you that are not sure how it works, it stands for Exchange Traded Fund, and it basically tracks the price of Bitcoin. So you're not actually investing in the actual asset, you're investing in tracking the price. The same as if you buy a gold or a silver ETF, you're not actually investing in the physical asset, although the actual company might hold some physical gold or silver on their books, you're actually just basically tracking the spot price. So essentially you're holding paper, gold or silver, and it's very, very similar with Bitcoin. You're essentially just tracking the market price of bitcoin not actually holding a bitcoin so yeah let me know in the comment section are you going to be considering adding bitcoin or any crypto to your portfolio now that this has been approved does it change the way you look at the crypto markets or are you still very much not a big fan of it you don't understand it and you'd rather stick to a physical asset that you can physically pick up and hold so thanks very much for watching today's video. Just like I said, a short update there to let everyone know what's going on. I think it's very interesting. And although this channel is a precious metals channel, anything that goes on in other markets always affects different asset classes. So now that people are going to be looking into investing in Bitcoin more, you might see a slight drop in the precious metals market because people might be taking out some money from their from their silver or their gold and they might be transferring it over into bitcoin to further diversify their portfolio so i think it's all very relevant like i said although this is a precious metals channel every movement and every important announcement that other markets have it all has a knock-on effect because money just moves around there's only so much money invested in different assets so if the housing market is doing really really badly you'll see other assets doing really well if the stock market's doing really badly you'll see other other assets performing really well because people are taking their money out of the asset classes that aren't performing well and they're moving it over into something that is performing better so as always thanks very much for watching my video thanks for all the support again congratulations to the winner of these two prizes huge huge landmark the channel was hit 8,000 subscribers which is absolutely massive so a massive massive thank you for all the support and i hope you all have a very nice day